Mm. Hello. Hey, Mike, it's Kembra. I'm here with Roderick, and we're making a movie about the Church of a Little Green Man. I wanted to ask you um, a couple of questions, if that's okay. I wonder, did you ever, would you consider us taking a bath last summer, being back to baptized, or was that just being in Terrence's art performance? I think I should get baptized, I feel. times, it's important that we pledge defiance. So if we would all please rise. And in the program, you will find the pledge. Now, I'd say, hand over heart, take a knee, myself, raise fist. I pledge defiance to the stag of the seven stages of hysteria and to the repudics which are called one masturbation under God who's invisible in liberty on high street. You may be seated. I feel like a little like Bob Ross, like, oh, a little happy, a happy squiggle. You know, it's like, gives you that like nice freedom where, where nothing is wrong. You ready? Okay, look, it just needs a little bit more right there. I can tell, <laughs> you know, this is what, okay, parents, when you send your kids to art school, this is what they teach them. <laughs> yeah, it's like just that little spot right there. I think I learned that in the fourth year. <laughs> just to know to do that, you know? And then yeah. in graduate school over here, you do right. this. Look, see, and you put like a little chicken in there. And once you put the chicken in, it's like, oh man. Now it's perfect. Man, <laughs> look at the chicken. <laughs> That's great. That's why I have a fucking MFA. <laughs> What happened in New York in the East Village was it kind of blew up because if you cut New York, it bleeds ink and it just was kind of right time, right place. And a bunch of outlier galleries all of a sudden got a lot of attention all at once. When I came to New York in 83, late 83, I dropped in the East Village and there was already a gallery scene going on in the East Village. You know, I had a gallery, but I had a gallery as, as an art project, as a sculpture. You know, the people that showed within my gallery were all part and parcel of, of the sculpture. So this artist here is an Australian artist by the name of Stellark. He was one of the artists that I showed when I moved the gallery from San Francisco to New York. And he does these things called body suspensions. So this is 11 and B in maybe 1985. And now I'm on the fire escape pulling this, this device across. So we had lines on both sides. So when I moved to New York, I moved to New York as an art dealer. Nobody knew I was an artist. I wore the suit, I kept my hair short, I, you know, like I schmoozed as much as I could schmooze, but I'm not very good at it. You know, and I don't know rich people, and I don't like rich people that much. You know, I'm kind of prejudiced against them. 
you know, you leave New York and, and all people care about is the parking space you left. They don't, they don't miss you. They don't go, oh my God, what are we, what's the New York art world gonna do without Mike Osterhout? Fuck that. You know, it's like, he's gone. Forget him. It's easier to understand the Church of the Little Green Man along with a whole, uh, you know, many decade uh, arc of what Mike's been doing as an artist. Mike did a lot of things, some which touched on religion. He set up a like kind of a fake one night church slash bordello in San Francisco. He went to a, a prominent uh, seminary college to get his degree, which was I think a two year piece. And he also bought a cow and branded it, designed his own brand. I mean, you start putting these things in, you know, in relation to each other, they actually just get creepier. Uh, so he's just tweaking right on, like, you know, right on that heretical border of, like, uh, uh, you know, of, of blasphemy, of, of at least highly insulting uh, uh, kind of propositions. Any other kids back there hiding around? Children, believe in candy. Children, we're gonna hug Hawking, all right? You know what that means. Get in there and hug him! Come on! Hug him up! Hug him up! Hug him up! Oh my God! There he is! Hug him up! Really, the, the church was born out of the out of, out of, you know, the, the greatest uh, reasons why most things are born, boredom. It just came out of, out of like, a, you know, an afternoon of, of doing too many drugs, you know, in a group of people, and we were watching Wicker Man. So there's a bar in Wicker Man called the Green Man. So I said, okay, well, let's, if we're going to do a church, let's make it a real church, and let's call it after a bar, let's name it after a bar. So it was the Church of the Green Man, then somebody said Little Green Man, and, you know, charge a dollar, and then burn a dollar, and it was like, done, you know, so I took it from there. We started it at a little club called Dorinka. You know, Gary Ray ran the club. Uh, they might be giants. Steve Buscemi, Mark Boone, they were all, like, performing at the time. Or sit like a black bean in the hallway For the color to change to a tall shade of green Mike did the church in the city and then for years and then he moved up here and got the, the building. We got the church cleared out, we got a band together and uh, started this incarnation which was now, they were saying 10 years, I feel like it was maybe 11 or 12 years ago. Bye, bye, bye. The first time I went to the Church of a Little Green Man, I was asked to do a performance. I was basically forming a vocabulary of images that has stayed with me to this day, like standing on my head and cracking eggs on my vagina, or Samoa did a piece called Pornocchio, where his little doll Linda would shit all over his face when he held it up. And Performance art becomes this kind of cliched term now, you know, it, uh, it's like being a fashion model, you know, pop culture took it over. But in its kind of purity in the, in the 70s and into the 80s, I think because it's so fluid is what kind of drew me to it, you know, like, like the lack of rules that there's, there's very little uh, structure and rules to it. And then when you do find it, break them, you know. Like I've always said, it's like, you know, like when they go, oh, maybe he's an atheist. I can't work up the enthusiasm to be even against God, you know, let alone for him, you know, him or her or whatever, you know. It's like that's not part of my makeup and that's not part of what this art piece is. In the name of the little green man. Yeah. 
you know, it's, it has no dogma, it has no ideology, it has no doctrine. Believers, unbelievers, believe anything you want, you know, or don't believe anything you want. If we have any ideology, all are welcome. That's about where it begins and ends. To me, one of the most motivating gestures is the sense of sacrifice and commitment that Mike had. Anybody dies in the church, I get their names tattooed. So there's Jackie Breyer, uh, Tom Muren. Tom Muren was the alien comic. He was a big part of church. Uh, Jerry Williams, David Ireland. We can all get together in this room and, and be a community, be a family, um, have fun together, go totally crazy together. It's freedom, so, and, and it's fun. It's blasphemous, it's sacrilegious, it's very religious, it's very spiritual. You know, people can say anything, do anything. It's, a, it's, a complete, it's complete freedom. The, the blind man thing, you know, I mean, of course, I'm not blind, but I am going blind. So, you know, it's like, I'll probably talk about that a little, and, you know, now I'll just mingle with the congregation. All right? Yeah, sounds good. All right. Hi, Holly. Hi. 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 <laughs> oh, man, you look great. almost as re interested in religion as I am in, in art. And, and those two things side by side give you a lot, you know, give you a lot of leeway, a lot of, a lot of nooks and crannies to, to, you know, search into, you know, I'll never run out of material. I hope it stays small. I hope it stays like a little, a little congregation that that can, you know, like each other and get together whenever they feel like it, and you know, transgress. Yeah, <laughs> it's like safe place to transgress. Yeah. Do you, do you have